Okay, hey, it's Friday, and with Friday comes happy hour or sometimes making beer. So, and today um, I'm planning on at least getting my holiday brew started. Uh, my holiday brew is going to be similar to a brew I made last year. I'm going to use the yeast that comes from the Cooper's Pale Ale bottles. And I, I'll demonstrate that to you later on. However, I got excited when I went to the store to pick up the Cooper's Pale Ale bottles. And I gave myself five Christmas presents. I bought myself five Christmas presents. Uh, I'm pretty excited about trying these beers out. Some of you may be familiar with these beers. Um, the first of which is called the Green Flash Brewing Company Imperial India Pale Ale. It says San Diego IPA, as it has come to be known by many, is pale in color, super hoppy, high gravity, yet a highly quaffable ale. Our Imperial IPA is created in this new tradition with intense hop flavors and aromas from a unique blend of summit and nugget hops. So that's that one. Green Flash Brewing Company. And I know a lot of you out there are familiar with the Russian River Pliny the Elder. And I guess no description is required on this one. A brewery I personally have not ever heard of, but I hear great things about it. It's in Boulder, Colorado, Avery Brewing Company, and this is what is called the Duggane India Pale Ale. Uh, there is a description. It says, Lupinin, Lupulin Rapture Incarnate. As fervent devotees of hops, we found ourselves on a quest to create a trans transcendental IPA capable of quenching our voracious lupulin desires. Our mantra became unity of bitterness, hop flavor, and aroma. Enlightened Dugana IPA was born, a brutally bitter, dank, piney, and resinous ale designed for those seeking a divine hop experience. In other words, not a session beer. Okay. I also found myself interested in this beer. This is again another brew by the Russian River Brewing Company called Damnation Golden Ale. Okay. Damnation, the act of damning. The state of being condemned to eternal punishment in hell. In the great beer producing country of Belgium. Okay, you guys can read this one. <laughs> Last but not least, since it's harvest time, I have picked up a Deschutes Brewery Fresh Hop Mirror Pond Ale. Mirror Pond is one of my favorite pale ales, and this is going to be a fresh hop one. So I'm very curious to see how this works out. Um, it says here, this noble fresh hop version of our classic American pale ale rose from a single plot of heirloom cascade hops revived by our brewers from the original root stock developed at Oregon State University grown by Goshi Farms in Oregon. This very limited release is just for you. Alright, very attractive picture there. And of course I have four Cooper's Pale Ale bottles that I picked up with the intended goal of consuming for one and two to harvest the yeast that is in the bottom of the bottles. And we'll demonstrate that to you later on. My intent for this yeast is to make my holiday brew. And my holiday brew is going to be produced by using the Cooper's Dark Ale uh, and the yeast, again, from the Cooper's bottles. Um, and one kilogram of dry malt extract. Uh, 250 grams of brown sugar. I have one star anise, very licorice flavor, two cinnamon sticks, a 
vanilla pod, and some uh, about uh, two tablespoons of coriander seeds. And of course, I'm not going to be making this today. I just wanted to show the ingredients. Oh, and one other additional ingredient will be one ounce of uh, fuggle hops. Last year I used saws. I was going to try uh, the, the fuggle hops. Uh, uh, the characteristics are mild, woody, and fruity. Um, any English style beer. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, the Cooper's Pale Ale bottles have a born on date, or actually best after date, of March 2011. So, well, at this point, uh, we're going to uh, start harvesting our yeast. So, let's carry on.